Okay guys, welcome to module one. In this module, our expert will cover researching keywords. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is keyword research because you can't optimize for anything without knowing what people are searching for, right? So if you're gonna rank for anything online, you've got to do keyword research and have a very specific and deliberate plan for what keywords you're gonna optimize for. Now the internet is pretty saturated these days. The good old days of optimizing for one main short keyword like organic gardening and getting page one rankings are long gone. And then the good old days that came after that where all you needed was one long tail keyword and you could use that as your domain name. Well, that's long gone too. Google doesn't work that way anymore. So today keyword research needs to be more robust and it needs to focus on finding multiple long tail keywords that you can optimize your site for. For example, organic gardening on a small budget or best fertilizer for organic marketing, you know, that kind of thing. So for our example today, let's say you're creating a site where you sell robot vacuums. Either you sell them directly yourself or maybe you've just got one of those affiliate sites and you make commission on them when people read your content and click your links and go buy them somewhere else. So a great way to start looking for different medium to long tail keywords for robot vacuums is to literally go into google.com and type in the first words or the main words of your topic. So let's do that. Let's do robot vacuum. All right. Now you have seen this a thousand times, but I bet you didn't realize that this little drop down of recommended searches here was an SEO gold mine. Google generates this list here based on frequent related searches that are actually happening. So you get an idea of what search terms are trending. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these keywords and some similar spin-offs and we're going to put them into Google's own keyword research tool, which is a free resource inside of Google ads. All right. So we're going to come up here to our Google ads account and inside of our Google ads account, it's called the keyword planner tool. We're going to come over here to get search volume and forecasts. And right here, I've pulled sort of a Martha Stewart, and I've already got my list of items right here in a document. Let me copy this, and I'll paste them right here, and we'll hit Get Started. So here's a bunch of data on these keywords. Keep in mind, Google Ads as an overall platform is primarily geared towards people buying paid ads. So there's a lot of information here that isn't super important to us you know, such as anticipated costs per click, that sort of thing. Uh, what we really want to know is how often people are actually searching for these on a monthly basis. So we're going to come up here and click on historical metrics. And as you can see in the second column here, it tells us how many monthly searches this receives. Now it's a broad range and it's kind of unfortunate. Google actually changed this a few years ago. It used to actually show you a pretty, pretty tight estimate. And nowadays they just sort of group them into broad ranges. So 10,000 to 100,000 searches per month, 1,000 1, to 10,000, you know, there's a 10 to 100 even, and there's a 100 to 1,000. So I mean, it's pretty broad, which is kind of unfortunate. However, uh, it does give you a good idea of uh, how popular these search terms are and how likely you are to, uh, to have people coming to your site if you rank for these. So for the most part, these all have a great deal of monthly searches. Okay, I just uh, rearranged it by average monthly searches. We can see certainly the top ones there. And you might be tempted to say, just go with the highest ones, right? And you certainly could do that. But keep in mind, you're competing with a lot of people here. You're not likely to rank for those very top ones very soon. So you want to optimize for some of the ones in the middle as well. Okay, now checking the stats for the keywords we came up with is not the only thing we can do here. Let's also come up here to keyword ideas. And then in here, we're going to paste the list that we already used earlier. We're going to click get results. So here what's happening is Google is actually using its brain, using its data to suggest similar keywords for us. So you can actually scroll through these and see a whole lot of medium to long uh, tail keywords that you may not have thought of, as well as the average monthly searches for each one. And you can research these a little bit further and see if there's one uh, that you hadn't thought of that's long, very specific, has a, a reasonable amount of monthly searches, and that you can optimize for to increase your uh, your chances of ranking for this topic. 
Now, I do want to say this is not the only way to research keywords. There's a lot of tools out there that'll help your research even further. We'll be going over those in a later module. For now, you've got the basics of keyword research. So now let's go over to how to actually put those keywords to use on your website. Okay, to get your website ranked for these keywords. Okay, and we're going to do that in module two.